In this video, we're going to talk about three input logic gates. So the first one we're going to talk about is the three input NAND gate. So here's the symbol for it. We'll call the three inputs A, B, and C. And the output we'll call it Q. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to write up a truth table for this three input AND gate. So first, let's write up the three different possibilities. It could be 000, 001, 010, 011, 100, and so forth. Now, the formula for the AND gate, or three input AND gate, is this formula. Q is going to be equal to A times B times C. So what's going to happen if you multiply three zeros? Zero times zero times zero is zero. So that's going to be the output. If we look at the next one, zero times zero times one, that's going to be zero. So the only time the output is going to be a one is if all inputs are active. One times one times one is one. So that's the truth table for an AND gate. A, B, and C have to be active in order to get an output of 1. If not, everything else will be a 0. Now let's talk about the NAND gate. So the symbol looks very similar. The exception is that we have a circle like the output everything else will be the same. So we're going to use the same three inputs, A, B, and C, and the output Q. So that's the electrical symbol for a NAND gate. Now the formula that corresponds to it is going to be Q is equal to, it's the product of A, B, and C, but the complement of that. Now let's write up a truth table for the NAND gate. So what happens if we if all three inputs are off? Using the formula, it's going to be 0 times 0 times 0, and we'll get the complement of that. If you multiply three zeros, you get zero. The complement of zero is one. And so that's what's going to be uh, at the output. So for the NAND gate, all we got to do is just write the opposite of what we see here. So it's always going to be a one unless all three inputs are active. So instead of having seven zeros here, we're going to have seven ones. Now let's use the formula for the last one, or for the last row. If we multiply one by one by one, we're going to get one. And the complement of one is zero. So this is going to be a zero. So for the AND gate, in order for the output to be active, all inputs must be active. And for the NAND gate, when all inputs are active, the output will be inactive. It's going to be in its low state or it's going to be off. Now let's go ahead and clear the screen. So now let's talk about the three input OR gate. My drawing is not perfect, but this is the symbol for the three input OR gate. For the three input NOR gate, it's very similar. Okay, let me do that better. We 
we just have the circle at the output. So that's the three input NOR gate. Now let's write up a truth table just like before. Now the formula for the OR gate, this should be a Q. Instead of multiplication, we're dealing with addition. So Q is going to be the sum of A, B, and C. So if we have three zeros at the input, if we add up 0 plus 0 plus 0, the output will be 0. If we add 0, 0, and 1, the output will be 1. Or if we add 0 plus 1 plus 0, the output will be 1. So if any one of the outputs, I mean, if any one of the inputs is a 1, then the output will be a 1. The only time the output is a zero is if all inputs are off or at zero. So that's the truth table for the three input OR gate. It's always going to be on unless all inputs are off. Now I want to take a moment to talk about a side topic, something kind of different from the current lesson. And it's a, about a project I've been working on or a new endeavor. I plan on writing articles in the near future in addition to creating video content. Now, for those of you who might be interested or even curious about what kind of articles I'm gonna write in the near future, feel free to sign up for my email list. And you can find it at my website, video-tutor.net. Now, once you do sign up, you get access to my video playlist. Of course, you could find this in the home page of my channel, but it's all neatly organized in one page. But nevertheless, if you are curious about the type of articles I'm going to be writing in the future, feel free to sign up for the email list and be patient and stay tuned. So now let's get back to the current lesson. So let's finish up the truth table for the NOR gate. So we know the output will simply be the complement of the three input OR gate. But let's use the formula to see how this is going to work out. So everything is going to be the same as this formula. We're just going to add the complement to it. So it's going to be the complement of the sum of A, B, and C. So when all inputs are 0, we're going to get a 1 at the output. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, and the complement of 0 is 1. Now let's use the formula for the next row. So we're going to add up 0 plus 0 plus 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. The complement of 1 is 0. So the output will be 0. And that's going to be the same for every other value. If we try this one, this is going to be 0 plus 1 plus 1. Now, in normal algebra, 1 plus 1 is 2, but when you're dealing with Boolean algebra, 1 plus 1 is 1, and the complement of 1 is 0. So everything else will be a 0. So to sum up the function of the 3 input NOR gate, the only way the output will be on 
is if all inputs are off. The output will be off if any one of the inputs are on. Now let's summarize all the things that we've learned in this video. So for the three input AND gate, the output is on when all inputs are on. For the three input NAND gate, the output is off only when all three inputs are on. Now for the three input OR gate, the output is off only when all three inputs are off. And for the three input NOR gate, the output is on when all three inputs are off. So hopefully those sentences summarize the main operation of those gates. Because if you know those sentences, then you can easily fill out the rest of the truth table.